Welcome to flute Q&A number 48, where you are going to hear examples of famous flute pieces that use trills. This question comes from Jennifer and she says, do you know many flute pieces that use trills? Yes, I do. I'm on a mission to learn all my trill fingerings and want to practice them in pieces. Uh, that's really cool, Jennifer, that you want to learn pieces in context because it's always a good motivation to play. Now, I've got a few things to tell you. Uh, Jennifer, I've got five examples for you of flute, specifically flute pieces that use trills. Now, anyone watching this, including Jennifer, if you're watching this on YouTube and you think there's a piece that I should have included that I didn't, put it in the comments below and when we get enough pieces, I'll do another video on more examples of trills in flute pieces. Uh, the second thing I need to tell you, Jennifer, is if you are struggling with your flute fingerings, I wouldn't say struggling. More to the point, if you would like to know your exact flute trill fingerings, I'll tell you more about how to do that later. Okay, here we go. So the first example is from William Tell. It's called Rons de Vache, but to tell you the truth, I actually didn't know that this section of this piece was called Rons de Vache. It's famous. I'm sure you'll know it. It's by uh, Rossini. was a beautiful trill. That was a less beautiful trill. It's written beautifully. It was just a bit clunky when I played it. It's actually, this piece is written for orchestra, but it's a flute solo. So that counts as a piece written for flute, I think. Now my music is upside down. So it's upside down, Miss Chain. Okay, the next one, Bardinery. This is by Bach. This is also famous. This has very short trills. This is Baroque. Very short and sweet little trills in there. Our next example is Andante in C major by Mozart. You may or may not know this by name, but you you might actually know this because it's quite a uh, standard famous repertoire for the intermediate level flute player. And it has nice little short trills all the way through. That is classical style, being Mozart. The next one, I love this piece. This is also written for an orchestra and the flute has a significant part in this piece. It's called Pavan, it's by Foray. I'll play the start for you so that you know what this piece is and then I'll jump to the section where there are trills. Oh my gosh, interlude. If you would like to learn how to be able to play long phrases like that, it starts with your embouchure. Come to www.flute.school and I will teach you in the three-day mini course how to fix your embouchure, which fixes your tone, which means you use less air, which means you can get through longer phrases. Okay, back to Pavan. <laughs> that was like an ad break, except that it's free. Jump to the section where there's trills. It sounds like this. <laughs> Thank you. 
That's really interesting. That trill fingering is very specific for E sharp to F sharp. I'll talk to you more about where to learn your trill fingerings in a second. My music is again upside down. The last example is Stars and Stripes Forever. Um, technically it's written for piccolo, but it's the same fingerings on flute and piccolo. So this is a good example for you. And of course, when you're learning this on piccolo, perhaps to play in a marching band, you would learn it first on flute. Okay, it's this bit. Now, if I was going to perform that, obviously I would practice that so I could do it without the gaps in there. So they are the five examples of trills. If you, um, pieces with trills, if you think I should have included something famous that I didn't, put it in the comments in YouTube below and I can do another video with more famous flute pieces with trills. Uh, Jennifer. Now, if Jennifer, you would like to learn all of your trill fingerings correctly. Hey, I didn't say who I am. My name is Jane. I'm a flute teacher, but you probably guessed that. So I love teaching people proper technique to get them faster progress. One example of that is a course called the Ultimate Trill Guide. Very systematically teaching you how to do exactly correct trill fingerings on the flute and an easy way to remember each one. So the Ultimate Trill Guide is part of the Flute Academy. I'll put a link below Jennifer or anyone else in case you're interested in finding more about the Flute Academy. Um, there's a link below in this video. It's also at www.flute.school slash academy to find out more. So there you go, your five example pieces, famous flute pieces with trills in them. See you later.